All right, guys, welcome back to the ALGS channel. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. Plenty to dive into today once again regarding the updated drop spots for the upcoming ALGS land in London. Also, another pro player, unfortunately, quitting the game once again. We're watching these guys drop like flies. Also, some big reactions to the Oversight Tournament. You guys know it's another competitive uh, environment tournament that happens within Apex Legends apart from the ALGS. If Apex does not fix this bug that happened over there, we're going to be having a lot of outrage once again because we had a game-breaking bug that allowed a pro player to have wall hacks the entire time during a fight and unfortunately one of the fan favorite teams lost because of that and if they have this thing show up once again in the algs like we had the team crashes like we had the teleportation bugs last year at champs it's not going to be good they've definitely got to get this stuff fixed as we progress along also some drama with the nerfs and buffs that are in the game and the meta changes that have happened and still have not been dealt with and then also a recap to all the drama that's been going on with imperial how and nick Merckx regarding how often that he is playing and a little bit of update to that situation that i thought was pretty funny make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here as always and let's go ahead and jump right into this thing first thing i wanted to mention here we haven't heard from deller in quite some time you guys know that he's been a streamer for apex a long time ago he's kind of moved on to some other stuff but deller definitely is uh, a personality to say the least and he said this yesterday if you are a pro fps player and you switch from pc to controller to compete in today's horrible triple a fps games you are contributing to the casualization and degradation of the genre <laughs> i don't even know if that's a word and imperial how obviously responding here saying does he know indicating because if you guys don't know obviously imperial how has played at the pro level for mouse and keyboard and he's also doing it on the controller even doing a little bit better now that he's on controller and madness just basically saying it's a base casual player take just thought that was funny and definitely worth mentioning there also one of the bigger topics for today so you guys know there's been a lot of nerfs and buffs and changes that have happened to legends that weren't supposed to happen until so ALGS, right? That's exactly what Respawn has said. Well, there's still some changes that have happened that they've not talked about. Wasn't in the patch notes. They still haven't even indicated that they're working on changing these before the London land. And this obviously changes the way that people practice because if certain legends are not in meta, if certain legends don't work the way they used to, now all of a sudden they've got to change their team comp. They've got to change the way they're practicing with these specific legends in the meta that they're wanting to run. This was coming from Raven, the actual strategic coach over for TSM and say, hey, don't forget Horizon Ult suddenly doesn't work through walls and her passive got nerfed and neither changes were documented two weeks before the land and no one in the pro league discord wants to communicate with me about it at apex but i thought you guys said no drastic legend changes before the land though right now we saw all of this happen whenever her tactical got nerfed and when she had no accuracy when she was up on her tactical they basically just came out and said look this wasn't supposed to happen until algs was over with but there's still some other changes that obviously make people want to change the legend they're playing if the horizon ult is not sucking people through walls anymore and it's not you know even working whatsoever despite all the animation still going through walls then what's the point this may be a deal breaker for some people whenever they're running this legend so i just kind of think it's weird that they've not really indicated any updates regarding this whatsoever besides the horizon tactical we've seen even stuff about seer seer apparently has a little bit of a nerf as well you can hear audio cues now when you've been scanned or whenever they can hear your heartbeat so it's just kind of weird that like they came out and said one thing about the algs whenever it came to the whole horizon thing but they haven't really communicated any of these other changes which i just think is weird now there's definitely some changes that they need to make and that is this twitch clip that happened this was the other day over in the oversight finals there is a bug right now in the game that allows you to have like permanent wall hacks like it just does not go away on certain characters and last year in the algs as champs we saw massive bugs that were going on people crashing in the games teams getting teleported across the map in the zone and getting them killed in a battle royale you cannot survive you cannot really afford really bad game breaking bugs like that if they're costing your kp if they're costing you the amount of points you're getting for placement you know and it's because of the game that is a deal breaker that would honestly drive me away from the state of competitive with this game because i could not deal with that knowing that i lost a lot of kp or i lost a lot of placement points that could have been mine all because of a stupid glitch this actually happened to nrg and i think they were going against luminosity here take a look at this clip of when sweet dreams actually found out that he died because of a glitch that had happened in the game allowing the guy to have permanent wall hacks roll the clip nate you got the bloodhound scan bug bro yes bro what the fuck that is so annoying you literally died from an arc yeah you literally look the bloodhound scan goes down and nate is just on scan the whole time for no reason bro he would have never pushed you there nate if he hadn't had the bug literally wall hacks the entire time you're there nate the entire time you're there you are on and it goes away right when he swings behind you this game is kill the comp scene and roll it back this game is oh my god 
So obviously not what you love to see and it really just kind of makes me cringe at the state of the whole esports scene knowing that some teams it's not just like a oh this kind of happened you lost a round but it's not that big of a deal we're talking battle royale where i guess there's kind of like only six games a lot of times and if you like just have to chalk one game because of a game bug that's pretty detrimental so hopefully they actually acknowledge some of this stuff and maybe even have a fix before this land event happens because if we see a game breaking issue like this chalk tsm's run chalk nrg's run you're gonna have some major backlash and honestly i don't know if the devs can survive much more backlash because it is just getting unbelievable at this point also wanted to mention this this was kind of funny you guys know over the last couple of days we have been talking about the whole tsm imperial how and versus nick Merckx. nick Merckx has received so much flack for going over to warzone playing a lot of warzone not really giving the time to apex that he needs and that is why they've had the poor performance over an oversight well at least that's what most people think Nick Merckx actually saw you guys may have seen in the video yesterday he kind of was blaming his teammates saying that he's doing his part he's doing the damage he's not really having that many issues it's the fact that he feels like his teammates aren't keeping up and he said I'm not trying to you know dog them or anything but it just kind of feels like I'm doing my part but yet we're still not putting it together I just feel like at the end of the day there's no excuse because whenever you're not putting the time into the game you're gonna have poor performance even if it, it may be the case because your teammates aren't feeling the synergy with you I don't know what it may be but regardless they've got some things to work on I wanted to mention this but because this was actually an update to that it was kind of funny yesterday imperial how actually went against nick Merckx and ranked a little altercation happened i guess that's when kind of you know some words were thrown back and forth and i thought this was too funny not to mention roll the clip he's one fuck man no. fuck speaking of bro <laughs> what are the chances it's infam bro <laughs> it's actually wild omega lol omega lol actually karma yeah you guys can't down a single person bro i'm all being three out here I think you guys need to play the game more. I got, I got the, not Nick Merckx. I got one v two. I got one v two to the right. There's no way. I literally killed the guy that was on I'm your side. No, the, the Maggie and the Valk both child me on the right. Why are you even running to the right over there? What the? So, I don't want to go up the stupid hallway and just all funnel in and die. Like there's no advantage there. Like at least gonna flank somebody. No cap. Now you guys need to play the game, bro. So as you guys can see, obviously when they die, kind of throwing the same shade that Nick Merckx was throwing towards his teammates saying, you know, they kind of need to play the game. I'm doing just fine. I'm not having too much issue. Just thought that was worth mentioning. It's going to be crazy if tripods can qualify for land because the amount of beef that would, you know, go on between some of these games and kind of like the whole idea that they've had all of these issues in the past and throwing shade at each other, it's going to make the land environment so much better. And I can't wait to see Pro League come back knowing that tripods is going to be in it. It's going to be a heck of a run to see in this next split for ALGS year three also wanted to mention this just as we start to wrap up this video we did have another pro player unfortunately leave the apex legend scene i'm not sure if it's heiku or haiku i've not actually seen the name before the apex legends pro scene is so massive it's just hard to keep up with everybody but regardless they were followed by a lot of people that you know were in the community so i definitely feel like they're probably played a couple tournaments as well at the big scene just saying that i think it's time to finally give up on the apex comp scene just don't think i'm cut out for it anymore i had so much fun in the early days but unfortunately i just don't have the time to really commit to a team it's kind of bittersweet knowing that it's all over i wanted it since release but i think it's just time to call what it is grateful for the people that i met at experience that i've had through it and unfortunately that is the end and we've seen a lot of people unfortunately come to this end as well just said that they're moving on to other games rockers already quit rack quit in yesterday's video a lot of people stepping away now i do think we'll have some people coming back once you see the london land go on a lot of teams get excited a lot of people get excited this is my year i'm gonna bounce back i'm gonna be on that main stage so we'll see exactly what happens but it is kind of normal to see a lot of people especially in battle royale move away come back to the scene later maybe they come back under a new name maybe they come back under a new org maybe new people join from other games that leave warzone or something i don't know so it's not really too much to worry about quite yet we'll see how the rest of the year three begins to move on just as we are closing this video out last thing i wanted to mention some updated drop spots for algs split one playoffs these are obviously constantly changing teams are moving we saw pioneers actually announced that they were not going to be landing on tsm anymore so obviously all of that had to be updated and so yeah there are some updates here this is group a versus group b and group c versus group d you can see ssg still uncontested over here under thieves still uncontested tsm uncontested now that a lot of this has changed so yeah still exit doesn't seem to be moving at all i'm pretty sure most of these guys have just decided to stay exactly where they are but some of these guys obviously have made changes as you can see over here in fragment we have got all kind of teams that are landing on top of each other we've got mst we got nc we got fire we got e36 so many teams are all right here going to be landing on top of each other a couple teams are obviously contested down here at the bottom skyhook is going to be a big one in group a versus b because you got exit going off against 100 thieves that is going to be a sight to see nonetheless and when it comes to c and d 
We've got KCP, which is Pioneers, who decided to stop landing at Wall for TSM and now going to be contesting the World Champions Dark Zero. We've also got a couple updates over here on World's Edge, but nothing too notable. And we even have Group B and C. Really, honestly, they're mostly the same. They're slightly updated, but I think the bigger names we've already kind of discussed here. We do have another group where A is going to be going up against D. They're going to have three teams at Skyhook. So XF versus 100 Thieves is going to be happening consistently. However, E6 will be joining this battle as well. And with as big as Skyhook is, it's not really that big of a concern for XF or 100 Thieves. However, when E6 joins in all of this, it obviously will update and contest a little bit more. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below and who your favorite to win in this ALGS split one playoff is in the London land. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I'll see you later, Gators.